Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Mopo, where it's all a matter of personal opinion. It's all Mopo. I'm at the Roach 83, here with at the Scientist. Hello. And, you know, we just want to kind of do a, you know, little... Opinion. On, like, Loot Crate. Uh, you know, in general, you know, all the, the DX, the Core Crate, the Slam Crate, the Marvel Crate. But the, more specifically... Like... People, I, I went. I just noticed there's a a bunch of negative videos out there. Like people are are doing like unboxings and like essentially like shitting on the company and the stuff they get. More so, I think like the core crate, um, and as more general than more like the DX and such, because. If you're getting the DX or you're getting a specialized crate, you obviously know what you're getting into. You're not going to upgrade something that you don't already know. Unless what it you're is. just trying to go big right off the bat. Yeah, unless you're just trying to, like he said. Um, but it's just funny to me because, like, first of all, a bunch of these guys are probably getting paid to do this. I know a few of them are. Um,. So it's like, yeah, let's spit in the face of somebody who is supporting my channel. You know what I mean? And ultimately... Nobody's supporting our channel. Right, no, I mean, it's, you know, our, some of our subscribers, you know, we, we we appreciate all of our subscribers, but nobody's, like, giving us money. All it's, 20 of our fake accounts. <laughs> uh, yeah, my, all, all of my emails do not... Um, give us money. This is just purely based on our opinion and you know, we, we like to, to put it out there, you know, for, for whoever. Um, you know, even if you listen and you don't subscribe. But when we do the unboxings, we're trying to give you an idea of what these crates are. And it's not for me, I mean, and honestly, maybe I'm guilty of it sometimes, so I'm not a fan of every single item in the box, but as general, like, mostly all of them are at least of that value. Even if you don't like some of the things that are in the crate, you can't say that, it's not, especially the core crate, it's 20 bucks. Yeah, you you can't be like, oh, let me get this grab bag or a mystery box, and then be mad because something wasn't custom designed for you yeah. specifically. And and trying to say that it's not worth the money that they're like charging, like it's like oh, there's gonna be this item having to do with this genre, but that you're like, oh, I don't like that. Sp like, like oh, here's here's a uh, an item for the genre horror. Well, I don't like this specific movie. Yeah, yeah but it's still a figure for a horror. Yeah, it, it's still, fit, they fit their themes very well, like... And I think it, a lot of the people that seem to be talking negatively are people that I'm wondering why they got it in the first place. Yeah, well, they're paid for it. Like. Uh, well, yeah, but I mean, it's it's like... They're, they're acting like it's a burden on them, though. It's like, yeah. I'm, I'm never getting this again. I'm unsubscribing. It's If you're unsubscribing... Then it's like then you obviously don't like cool stuff, honestly. Like random, like scientists said, you know, just random stuff. That's why I honestly have steered away from like the core crate and the DX line, and more concentrated on like the Marvel and the WWE crates. Which the Marvel crate is probably not exactly what I thought it was, but that's not to say the items in the crates are are shit. Like, yeah, it's just not, you're not the demographic. Yeah, like, you know, it, the, the Marvel crates are most, are apparently mostly going to be, like, uh, kitchenware and, like, goods for your house and such. I didn't think it was going to be like that. Yeah, I thought it was going to be more, like, maybe action figure or comic book, kind of like the core crate is. Right, right. Where the WWE crate is a lot like the core crate, um... And I, I think overall the WWE crate has been more consistent and more likable where if they did that with the Marvel crate, I think, I don't know, just for me, that's what I would have preferred. That's your opinion. Right. But I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, like the Black Panther um, 
apron that they gave us. It's pretty cool. Good quality. I don't need it. I'm not going to use it. I actually gave it away, you know, to one of my friends. So I'm like, okay, he's actually going to use this. Mostly because I already have my Polo Hermanos, um, you know, apron from the very first crate I got. But, you know, secondly, I'm a dude. Like, I'm not going to be like... You're not going through aprons yeah. that regularly to where you need that many of them. Yeah, like I need more than one. But but that's also something that I noticed too, which was a lot of the people talking negatively, they're, they basically, it's like, they weren't the demographic, but every single one of them, you know, every time that they would crap on a loot crate, they'd always find at least one or two items inside that they liked. Right, even right? when they're shitting even on it. Even when they were right. shitting on it. And then it's just like like you do. You 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 a lot of times only find maybe one or two items in each box that you like, but you're not sitting here and saying that the whole thing's crap. You're actually taking that opportunity to be like, oh, you know what, my nephews and nieces might like this. Right. Oh, my friend might like that. You know, and you're using it as an opportunity to kind of like, you know, spread it, spread it out, and it's something that they might not be able to find because it's a loot crate exclusive, and. You know, I think uh, that works too. And the two items that you hang on to, they're probably worth like 15 out of the 20 bucks. Right. At the very least, 10 out of the 20 bucks. Yeah. So it's it's not like it's not like you're getting ripped off. Ripped off. It's not and like you're losing like, money. That's like what some of these videos are trying to basically come across and say that they're like ripping you off. They're like giving you like. Two dollars worth of merchandise. Yeah, like this $20. one guy goes, "Oh, just glue a uh, glue a picture on your shirt." No, these are good quality shirts. Yeah, they're you not might not like what the shirt is. Yeah, but these are quality shirts. So, you know, I I just wanted to kind of throw it out there because, like, we I love Loot Crate. Um, I think I, they're definitely better than than they're giving credit for. But but like anybody else, not everything is going to hit for me. Yeah. But at the same time, it's it's like, okay, then maybe you're not the kind... Because also, every time somebody's crapping on a loot crate, th it's usually, oh, I really liked last month's. Or I'll, I'll stick around for next yeah. month's. And it's like, okay, well, maybe you're not the type of person who should be getting this every single month. Right. Maybe you should just be picking and choosing and, which ones you want. And I agree. You know, and, but I think that's also the nature of the beast when you have a... Uh, mystery type service you want to see what's in it some well some are going to be better than the others you know like you don't hit a home run every time you go up to bat you Maybe know you I mean? don't yeah you know i'll sports mcgee over here <laughs> <laughs> but you know like that's a football reference right yeah, no, yeah. Fine. <laughs> soccer but um you you know that's just the way it's going to be and yeah, you know, you want to have high expectations, and you pay money for something, so you want to be satisfied, but you, you can't, it's almost like they're babies, like, uh, I didn't get exactly what I want. Right. It's like you're putting out an, a crate, literally generic enough to satisfy hundreds of thousands of people. Yeah. The fact that you, one person... Collectively, maybe I'll give them. I'll give them ten thousand people. Yeah, yeah. The, ten thousand like out of 5%. hundreds of thousands. It's like, come on, dude. It's like, all right, you didn't like this one. Next time, you know, check check the thing. Be like, oh, next month's gonna be horror. I'll probably get that one. Right. Like that. Oh, and next that, one's gonna be Merry Time Funland. Maybe I won't take a take a gamble on yeah. that. And honestly, that's what I do now, you know, aside from the... Yeah, because I know you've had a couple times where you felt the same way, but you yeah. at least still kept a rational uh, line of thought about it. Yeah, like, you can't just shit like, on it because it you is don't still, like it. It is still economically yeah. worth... It's still... It's materially, materialistically yeah. still worth... It's like slander. Like you can't just go and say, "Oh, they're ripping you off because you didn't like this stuff." Like, and that's that's all I'm basically saying. Like, you know, like we we know it's trinkets. We um, we know it's knickknacks. You know, we we do opinion based uh, podcasts and videos and such. And that's one thing I want to get across: is use your opinion. Just because some guy is shitting on it, some guy is like me saying it's the most awesome thing in the world. 
you know, take a both with a grain of salt and, you know, make your own opinion about it. Yeah, don't and take our word for it. We're all like LeVar Burton over here. Yeah. You know, just uh, do your own thing. You know, and, you know, then let us know how you feel about it. But, uh, you know, I think... Hey, cause do you do you do you watch these negative videos and think the same... Like, are you seeing the same things we're seeing? Or are you seeing something different? Do you maybe see a different angle of that their argument? You know, like, that maybe we we aren't seeing. Do yeah. you think it's loot crate is worth it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, is it worth the twenty yeah, bucks? Is that's it worth the ten the, million dollar question. Yeah, that's the twenty dollar question right here. Is, is it worth the fifty bucks or whatever for the DX? You know, like that's something that's ultimately up to you, and you shouldn't let somebody who's getting paid. To have an opinion, base you know, base your opinion on that, but or anybody with who's not getting paid. Yeah, or mine either. Because we sure enough ain't getting paid. But uh, you know that's uh, that's all Mopo. That's my personal opinion. You know what do you guys think? You know it's all Mopo. Uh, thanks for listening and check us out next time.